Hi guys, it's Monica. Yeah, I've been I've been really missing in action and um you know, I keep saying I'm going to come on and do an update video and I just really haven't done it. I I just haven't been me yet. You know, I just haven't been feeling me. I haven't I haven't really found me yet. I I think you know that some of the 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 most surgery surgery number one really set me back, uh, and just some of the other issues that I've been having. So this is going to be a little bit about. I'm going to give you an update mm -hmm, on my most surgery. I did have my most surgery. You can probably see my scar right here. I don't. I know I'm in. You know I've got a bright light in front of me, so you may not may not be as noticeable. But I'm going to superimpose some other photos of me in a more natural lighting so you can actually see the pro the progression. So if you're curious about Mo's, about some of the products I've been using, how has Scar Away been working for me, and just about where I've been, stay tuned. So as most of you know, or well, before I start that, if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for joining me. And if you haven't subscribed, I would truly, truly appreciate if you hit that subscription button. And if you left me a comment, I have been really bad with my comments, with responding. I just have been going through a whole bunch of different things in my life. So as most of you know, I'm 68 years old. I was a sun worshiper. I love the sun. I grew up in that era of Band of Soleil, baby oil, iodine, just baking and baking and baking. And then, of course, it catches up to you, especially, I think, people that are paler like me. Um, you know, my complexion, we can be prone to basal cell and melanoma, melanoma and um, things like that. So I've been going through a year with some uh, spots on my face that, you know, I've been treating, etc. And I've been, my most surgery has just been scheduled and rescheduled and finally happened on June, on um, June 22nd. I went for my most surgery. I superimposed some photos here. I had the nurses actually take some photos. They may be gross. You may want to shut your eyes. But anyways, I had my surgery and I don't think as much as I pride myself in knowing what I'm doing, I don't think I actually prepared myself or my body for the recovery process. For two days, I had to wear a pressured bandage on my face. My eye was barely was shut. I haven't been able to wear my glasses. It's been very difficult even today to read because my glasses hurt right one of my spots here. So anyways, um, I had the surgery. And then the following Thursday, I went in a week later for the stitch removal. The, the stitch removal, during that week time, it was the surgery and then the removal. But because I was having some complications with it, that really set me back. I went twice in between. And one time they had to really clean it out and they had to do a... Um, take a culture to, to, to just really see if I was having some sort of infection, which is what they thought, because my body was not reacting well to the stitches. Ultimately, you know, antibiotics, different set of antibiotics, ultimately that first week went by and I went and had my stitches out. So when I had my stitches out, that day I drove, because it was 4th of July weekend coming up, so that Thursday night after work, I drove to meet Jay. Now, it's actually, was working from home. I didn't have the camera on, so I felt really comfortable not letting anyone see me. But it was difficult for me because I have a hard time reading without glasses. But so, Jay and I went to Booth Bay Harbor over 4th of July. It was a very, very different weekend away for me because I had my stitches uh, out and my skin was sensitive and I was like really trying to figure it all out. You know, the scar was there. It was very swollen still. So I started to, you know, obviously treat myself with a couple of different products. And one product that I treated myself with, which I did not bring in, and I thought I did. Anyways, it's called Arnica. And um, I, I, had, I actually took, I, I actually had Arnica that I've used in the past. 
a client of mine, I don't know, maybe about 15 years ago, gave me a bottle of it when I had fallen and hurt myself for bruising. So I was doing some research and a number of people had talked about Annika as a, um, as a, for healing. So Sheila, who I absolutely adore, my good friend Sheila, simply Sheila, formerly Life with Sheila, or Life with Lily, had also suggested Arnica. So I ordered some Arnica. I'll leave all the links below. So I ordered that. And I really think that the Arnica has helped my scar. It's helped my bruising. I mean, I'm going to show you a picture of a week ago of what it looked like. And then, of course, today in uh, natural lighting, you can still see I'm very red. I'm still swollen. I, I have puckery scar, you know. It's going to take about 18 months to two years for this to really settle down. But the Arnica has dramatically helped my swelling subside quicker, which I was totally amazed with. So the Arnica for me absolutely works. So, you know, clean. It, it was. I was very uh, squeamish, <laughs> you know, cleaning my skin, the stitch area and all that. And, and then once... The final Steri strips came off. I started to use something called Scar Away. Um, Scar Away was recommended by my surgeon. So I have a thing of Scar Away, and I actually, because I have to use it consistently, I actually got a few tubes. I got it off of Amazon. But it's 100% silicone. I got the roll on. They also have strips that you can buy, which I might end up doing. But so now I'm doing the scar away after I clean my scar twice a day in the morning and at night. And then after this dries, I've been able to put a little sunblock on. I have no makeup over my scar. So what you're seeing is my scar. And I am beyond the looking at myself in the mirror and crying because I did an awful lot of that. I, I think I just had a total pity party. Um... I'm almost embarrassed to say that, but yeah, a total pity party. I would look at myself and I would cry. I know how vain, right? There's so many other things to cry about. I've had my share of tears these last few years with my dad, my brother, and, you know, other things. And here I am crying like a baby over a darn scar on my face. So, anyways, I... um I had mentioned in my previous video that I got a product from Octoly that I was to review and it is a CBD gummy and it's um, ELEV8 and it is by a company called the, I always say this wrong, Vita Optima. So Vita Optima, this is a Delta 8, it's a TCH type of a gummy, a CBD, it's, um, it's, I, when I first talked about it, when I first got it, I hadn't really used it long enough to be able to really talk it up or down. But I take one gummy and it totally relaxes me, uh, especially if I'm going to sleep. And it, this has been, for me, now again, everyone is different. You need to definitely check with your doctors before you do anything at all, especially if you have any kind of other medication or surgical procedures. But for me, this has really helped relax me. And, and I do use CBD, and I have used um, products from this company before, Vita, Vita Optima. They have a whole line. I, I thought they were pretty good. Yes, it was sent to me from Octoly. Complimentary in exchange for a review. But I, I'm a huge proponent of CBD products, and so I use CBD oil on my skin. As soon as I can, once I'm you know go back for another follow-up visit, I am going to find out whether or not putting oil on, which I believe after the scar away treatment, I think it's two months, then you start to do massage. And then when you do your massage on your scars and your lump and all that, you have to do it a certain way. And, you, and I believe you can use an uh, a oil product. I'm going to use the CBD oil on my face. I love using, I still use my CBD oil on other parts of my face, but not on my scar yet. So anyways, I've been, I've been really enjoying this. It's not that expensive of course they're gummies and they do taste really good but I've only used one and some days none so I, I kind of use it as I feel I need it but it's very very good it's uh, very it works for me so everyone really should you know double check it read the reviews if you're going to buy it I'll have all the links below the other thing that um, I got and this was sent to me from Octoly as well and this is 
Freera. Was a company called Freera, and they have a total skincare line as well, or makeup line, I should say. And they have a cream that I am really intrigued by that I think I'm going to order. Order. It's an apple. Uh, it's an apple stem type of a cream. It sounds really heavenly. I just so I think I'm going to order that. But anyways, this is their neck and decolletage cream. And I got this complimentary from the Octoly Network from Fiera and in exchange for a review. And it came in right before my surgery. So everything, the timing is perfect, right? Because I had my surgery. I was feeling really awful about myself. Um, and but when you do little things to make yourself feel a little bit better it, it just lightens your whole mood and so this came in i took it with me we went away really nice thick cream really nice i really like it it spreads smooth i put it on my neck all the way down my decolletage have I seen a visible difference? I, I think when I put it on, I feel a difference. It feels a lot more plumping. My neck doesn't feel dry. Um, my, my neck is my neck. You know, I'm 68 years old, so I don't know how much lifting I'm going to get, but I do like it. And I think there's a sale going on. Um, I'll put all the information below. This, again, was sent to me complimentary from the Octoly Network from Freyera. But check out their line. I mean, they had, I was looking at um, their concealer. I don't have it. But I was looking at their concealer, and I said, hmm... This might be something I'm going to pursue. So I really, really liked it. Anyways, Fiera, this is a multiple effect neck and decolletage cream. It works really nice, they say, and I'm going to read it from them from here. They say that it is specially designed for, you know, older women, women over 40, I believe, and um, for that creepy, saggy, turkey neck skin and just helps you feel tighter, uh, smoother, firm, you know, a nicer looking neck. So I don't know if that's happening for me yet or if it even, you know, something you can tell. But I definitely feel a plumping of the skin on my neck. So I am liking that an awful lot. Other than that, those are the just the two products. Other than that, you know, using the scar away, I think, and, and focusing on my scar, I'm hoping that... Um, I'm hoping that it really helps because it's quite traumatic to see your face disfigured like that. And I think for me, I wasn't really prepared. I mean, my, my basal cell, my cancer spot was about the size of my fingernail, but they had to go super deep. And they got clear margins, which was awesome. My stitches from my eye to my nose um, had about 12. And, and then, of course, stitches inside. But what they do, rather than leaving you a crater when they take it out, they get to pull your skin. And I was like, oh, I, I was joking. I said, oh, that, maybe you could give me a facelift or something. I still didn't get it. I didn't understand what was going to happen fully. I mean, I wasn't prepared for the recovery process. And I'm still not. So I, you know, I'm getting through it. I'm putting a smile on my face. I'm going to try to do a video. I've got... A video that I did pre-surgery of a wig review that I have not even finished editing yet. I'm going to try to tackle that. So you'll see another video at one point if you watch my wig reviews. And it'll be um, about hair and, uh, and, and it'll be pre-surgery. So anyways, that's going to be coming. But I'm going to try to get this up. Today is Saturday. It's been exactly, my surgery was on the 22nd of June. And today is the 10th. Of July so it it'll be this coming Wednesday will be three weeks for me so post-surgery and I think the Arnica has made a big difference in how quick my skin has been absorbing and healing even when I went to have my stitches out they said you know your face it was really awful for me because I could see all the swelling and, and still it was very black and blue or yellow or whatever and they said your face looks really good you're swelling is not nearly as bad as we have seen swelling at this time frame. So I, I'm attributing that to the Arnica. So um, look into that, you know, uh, and see. But the Arnica, I think, was really good. And, and the Scar Away, this you can get. 
I guess at Walgreens and stuff like that as well, or I ordered mine off of Amazon. But this is the one that my surgeon had recommended. So anyway, scar away. So that's it for this video. Just wanted to, you know, pop in, give you an update of what the heck has been happening. I got a basket of empties. I'm going to try to film that after this so that I can get back in a regular routine. And I'm sorry for all of you that have been emailing me um, that I haven't been super responsive about. I just have been in a negative headspace. And um, it's really hard, as some of you know, when you get in that negative headspace to push yourself out. So hopefully I'm there. And thank you all for your support. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. I hope I don't scare people when they see my scar. That's good, really. You can see a little bump up here, but other than that. That's the part that bothers my glasses. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>